Excellencies, Secretary General Antonio Guterres, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I thank the Secretary General for focusing the world's attention on the role that extractive industries can play in pursuit of sustainable green energy and economic development. The world is on a path to decarbonization. This implies significant changes to energy policies, particularly around coal and other fossil fuels. But these energy sources won't disappear overnight. For some developing countries, fossil fuels will remain an important part of the energy mix. However, we can focus on development finance to speed up the transition to renewable energy through investments in new technologies and distribution networks. Rwanda, for example, has decided to embark on a shift to electric vehicles in the coming years. Rwanda is also committed to upgrading to clean cooling technologies in line with the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol. Mining and other extractive industries have a bad reputation, sometimes deservedly so. Sometimes the revenues don't flow where they should in the public interest, or environmental impacts are not accounted for. Yet minerals and metals are key inputs to many high-tech growth sectors, and Africa is a source of many of these materials. The recommendation is contained in the Secretary General's policy brief provide a roadmap for changing both the perception and the reality of mining and energy production in developing countries. What is required is a new compact between the government and the private sector. Today's Global Roundtable is an important step in that direction. And I am happy to associate with this effort. I thank you for your kind attention.